fire signs aries leo sagittarius what's up y'all how you guys feeling this is an overall energy check-in for you guys for the month of may yes we are going into a new month happy may fire signs sending you guys lots and lots of love i hope you guys have a beautiful month i hope april has been good to you i hope the month of may is even better i'm going in the order of aries leo sag okay take what you wish and leave the rest for somebody else out there that's watching everything may not be for you right use your discernment okay this is for western placements and vedic astrological placements as well okay i've been saying that a lot in the videos now if you watch me on here and on patreon i've been saying that a lot in the videos only because i tend to follow vedic astrology more and i see that my messages are following vedic astrology as well so if 111 on the clock as i say that so if you are someone that follows vedic astrology then you probably definitely will resonate with my energy a lot and if you follow Western, I'm sure that there's some messages for you too. One, two, three on the clock as I say that. So Vedic and Western, okay? Just throwing that out there, you guys. I love y'all, love y'all, love y'all lots. All right? I'm going in order from Aries, Leo, Sag. So Aries, you up first. Let's just see what the energy is surrounding you for the month of May. Let's see what messages Spirit has for you for the month of May. Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, Western, and Vedic astrological placements for Aries. All right, Aries, let's get it. Let's get into it. Spirit, this message is for Aries. Spirit, what messages do you have for the zodiac sign of Aries? Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, Aries. What's the overall energy surrounding Aries for the month of May? the overall energy surrounding Aries for the month of May. Okay, Aries, let's see. Messages for Aries. Spirit, what is it that you want to tell Aries for the month of May? Okay, we have hell. Okay, so I've been pulling that a lot for everybody. Okay, this card just been making its way out. So Aries, I definitely feel like you are healing. That's always good, right? Take care of yourselves, Aries. Mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. Okay, pour into yourself. Nurture yourself. Okay, yes, Aries. Take good care of yourself, okay? We have fear is making fear is what's making you question it. So release any doubts, any negative thinking. Okay, release fear, okay? False evidence appearing real, okay? It's not real, it's an illusion. Some of you are working out of a place of fear and worry, but I'm getting that it's an illusion. It's all mental, it's in your mind. You have absolutely nothing to fear. Aries, you are the sign of the warrior. You are the baby of the Zodiac as well. So it's like, I call y'all warriors, but then y'all also the baby of the Zodiac, but then y'all also very fearless. Aries, you like a walking contradiction, okay? <laughs> like, be fearless, be open. 333 on the clock, as I say that, some of y'all may be seeing 333 a lot, okay? You could be seeing a lot of different numbers, synchronicities, a lot of angel numbers, okay? Your your guys are trying to talk to you. I'm getting 333-111-444, okay? 222-999, okay? Those are the numbers I'm getting. Some of y'all may be getting those numbers a lot too. I'm also hearing 1234, okay? 143, 1143, 1133, 1122. Y'all seeing shit like that. Pay attention, okay? Make sure that you're drinking a lot of water, okay? More water than anything. I'm getting here that some of y'all could even be overeating, thinking that you're hungry. You're not actually hungry. You're just dehydrated. You're just thirsty. When you dehydrated and you're thirsty, sometimes it's very similar to hunger pains. You're not hungry. Go get your ass some water, okay? Damn, all right? Spirit, come through. Come through, Spirit. Give me a message for Aries. 
okay we got the card of cancer so some of you may be connected to a cancer okay a, a cancer could be trying to connect to you somebody here could have shown cancer in their chart whether that's you or them we also got the card of capricorn is in a reverse some of you could be disconnected from a capricorn okay some of you may be releasing a capricorn you could be separating from a capricorn you could be divorcing a capricorn take it as it resonates we get and don't focus on monetary issues focus on spirit so a lot of y'all are disconnected from someone but i'm seeing here that you may be focused on the material world you may be focused on things that's outside of yourself spirit is encouraging me to encourage you to seek the answers from within okay stop focusing on what everything looks like around you again with that whole idea of you being fear-based you being in an illusion things don't seem right on the outside you may be fearful about what it is that you may lose outside of yourself but understand that any losses that you have outside of yourself is definitely not as great a value as you holding on to who you truly are on a core level, on a soul level. Your soul is priceless, Aries. That's what I want to tell you, okay? Some of you may be getting some kind of offer during this time. Keep your eyes on the prize. Stay true to yourself. Never disrespect your own moral code, your own values, okay? You may be presented with a deal that you don't want to take. It's glittering, it's gold, it's shiny, it's beautiful, it's everything you ever wished for, it's everything that you ever dreamed. It's a big price tag on there that you don't see. The price is your soul, Aries. Don't, don't, don't sell your soul. Don't sell your soul. Spirit, talk to me. It's a hefty price tag on there that you don't see. You will be stuck. You will be stagnant. Drink some water. Aries, drink some water. Who I just told to drink water? I think I just told Pisces to drink water. Was it Pisces or Cancer? It was one of them. We do have Cancer here. Some of you could be definitely connected to Cancerians. Okay, because we got cancer in the upright. We got the cherry in the reverse. That's double cancer energy. Okay, but make sure that you fasting. Make sure that you, I'm hearing intermittent fasting for some of you. Some of you only eating one time a day. Make sure that that meal is healthy. Make sure that that meal counts. Okay, make sure that you're taking protein and make sure that you're staying hydrated. Okay, some of y'all need to walk around with a water bottle. We got Leo here. We got Justice. Okay. Some of y'all can be dealing with Leos or Libras. We got spiritual partnerships and we got the card of sacrifices. Some of y'all going to have to sacrifice a home, a living situation. Okay. But it's no peace in there anyway. So what you holding on to it for? That's what I'm hearing. Okay. Some of y'all feel like you got to make sacrifices that you don't want to make you up in your head. You living in some sort of illusion. You're not thinking clearly. You scattered brain. You confused. You don't know what the fuck you want to do. You know what you want to do, but your mind is playing tricks on you because your mind is making you think that you're taking L's. The only L that you're taking is not taking action. That's the only L you're taking. All right. Like spirit really talking to me. Damn. Okay. Spirit really talking to y'all. Spirit trying to let you know that, you know, you got some help on the way, but there may be something that you have to give up. Also, you have an offer coming in that's going to sound real good. It's going to look real good. It looks shiny. It looks new. It's nice, okay? Listen, it's a bad deal. It's a hefty price tag on that shit. Understand me? Stay true to your morals. Stay true to your values. Stay true to who you are on a soul level. Never give it up. We got the tower card here and the lovers reverse I just saw. Okay, so something may be coming to an end. Okay, but I'm getting here that you're going to feel more courageous. You're going to feel more powerful. You're going to feel more strong once it do. I'm hearing that you're going to get all your strength back, Aries. So some of y'all may be feeling like y'all been drained or tired. You feeling like you got low energy. You don't feel as energized as you once did. It's okay. All your energy, all your power is coming back to you, okay? Stop waiting on an offer. Stop waiting on an opportunity. Stop waiting on a savior. Save yourself. Somebody here is being very stubborn. Yeah, that's the fucking truth. We got the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords. Everything that I'm saying is the truth. Okay, Aries? This is your confirmation right here from Source. 
this ace of swords letting you know that everything that i've been saying this far is valid there we got the strength card here and right behind the strength card you'll never guess it's the world card so completion of cycles you taking your power back you taking your energy back you standing firm and making solid decisions you stand standing firm on the choices that you're making you making wiser choices better choices okay i'm getting um healthier habits okay good for you Okay, you got the energy of the lion. Some of you may be connected to Leos. Yeah, we have the card of Leo right here. I'm getting strong Leo, strong Cancer, strong Libra, strong Capricorn energy. Okay, and then we have you here, Aries. Some of you may be very stubborn right now. You may be holding back. You may be stubborn in a situation. Some of y'all showing up in a reverse because you just kind of, you trying to control how something goes. Baby, you are, you're not God, okay, baby? You are of God, but you are not God. You understand what I'm saying? You are of God, but you are not God itself. You are not God himself. You are of his image, of his likeness. You are a part of him, but you are not him, okay? You cannot control everything, okay? I'm getting here that somebody is trying to control everything, release control. The chips are going to fall where they may everything's gonna happen yeah there's good news here aries so release your control god wants you to know that you're trying to control everything and it's like your guides is actually laughing at you like you have some spirit guides that have quite a sense of humor they on the sidelines laughing like my baby over here stressed out my baby over here confused my baby over here just burnt out and overthinking and trying to figure out what they want to do, what direction they want to take. They're not really pouring into themselves. They're so fearful. They're so doubtful. They're giving themselves anxiety. Your guides are literally standing on the side and just looking, shaking their head. Some of them got their hand and they, some of them got their head in their hand and they just shaking their head. They like, look at this fool. Don't we always save your silly ass, okay? Some of your guides is like, don't we always save your silly ass? Don't we always make sure that you end up in a better place than where you left, where you came from? Don't we always make sure that shit work out for you? Don't we always make sure you good? Don't God always come through for you? All right, then, so why you acting like you don't know? If you acting like you don't know. You acting like you don't know what type of connection you have with source. You acting like you don't know what kind of guides, what kind of ancestors you got on your team, what kind of ancestors that rock with you. You acting like you really don't know. They said, you know, that you you upset some of them. You you irritate some of your guides because they, they taking offense to this shit at this point. They like, why are you acting like you ain't this shit? You are. Why are you why are you acting like you ain't about to get um everything that's owed to you, everything that's promised to you? God going to keep his promise. God promised you something and you're going to get that shit. I'm getting multiple sources of income for you, Aries. Options are endless. The world is at your fingertips. There's spell work being done on y'all. That's the problem. I was waiting for that shit to come out. So somebody here was doing spell work on you, Aries, or they're currently still doing spell work on you. Playing with your mind, trying to play with your mind, trying to control you, trying to cause illusions trying to cause some self-doubt, some fear, some anxiety, some worry. Somebody here wants you to feel like you ain't going to have enough or you ain't never going to have enough or shit ain't going to work out. Man, please. Okay, you we blocking that shit out. It's being blocked. As quick as they throw it is as quick as it's being returned to sender. Okay, these motherfuckers need to be mindful of what they projecting because that shit is being returned almost instantly. Okay, Not almost instantly. They said instantly. Okay, they said take the almost out of it. It's instantly, okay? Instant karma. We got the eight of wands in the reverse here and the five of swords reverse and the nine of wands in the reverse. Somebody here is being stuck in whatever the fuck they was trying to wish on you. I just told Pisces that. Aries, you may resonate with Pisces energy as well, but I just told Pisces that as well. Somebody counting your pockets or somebody doing work on your finances, somebody doing work on your money here. Wanting you to be, I cannot make the shit up. Wanting you to be in the five of pentacles here. Wanting you to be in poverty. Wanting you to be in lack. It's because they're jealous. This person is showing up as the empress in the reverse. This is someone that's jealous. They're really jealous. Okay. I'm, I'm getting here that somebody's really jealous of what you got going on. And they could be projecting this shit in secret. Okay. Somebody is projecting this in secret. 
because they know you about to walk into a new path. You about to have a clear path. Okay. You about to walk into success. Okay. You already successful is what I'm getting, but you about to have even more success. I'm getting big wins, big opportunities. I'm getting an overflow of abundance. Some of you may be seeing 888 a lot, but you got the eight of cups into the ace of wands. You're literally walking into your brand new life. Okay. I'm hearing brand new everything. Um, damn, I'm about to call y'all Pisces. Yeah. Some of y'all definitely resonate with that Pisces energy, but um, uh, Aries, you should check out Pisces message as well that I just did, but Aries, you walking into a brand new beginning. Okay. Brand new everything. You feel me? Like brand new everything. And these people like, oh shit, these are the same people that's going to be trying to hold on to you because the will is turning in your favor, baby. This is what I was looking for. We got the will of fortune here. Aries, everything is working out and your high is good. Trust that the universe is working on your behalf. Trust that you are definitely, um, co-creating with your guides you're co-creating with spirit with swords you're co-creating with literally ascended masters like you have actual ascended masters on your team working on your behalf like let's really talk about the shit that i'm seeing right now like this is like so much power so much energy and i feel like you just not even aware like or maybe you are aware but you still have some some sort of doubts what the fuck? What 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 was the doubts? What's the fear? What's the doubts? Is this shit? Is the manipulation? Somebody here could be trying to manipulate you when they talk to you, or just sending negative energy and you know working on you and doing all this spell work and shit like that. You know, it. Who cares? Like it is not working. It's not working. It's being returned to sender immediately. It's like literally being returned to sender immediately. And I'm getting here that it's your ancestors. <laughs> like, it's your ancestors. It's your guides. It's your angels. Like, it's God. Like, it's a higher power. It's higher forces, higher powers, strong forces here working on your behalf. The only thing that they want you to do is to calm the fuck down and continue to work on what it is that you're working on. Whatever it is that you're pursuing, whatever goals you have, that's all they want you to do is just continue to work continue to keep your head in the game and continue to work. It's like your guides literally want me to tell you that they fight in your battles for you. God is literally fat, fighting a battle for you. A battle that you are concerned about, a battle that you are overthinking about, a battle that has come to you. You wasn't even looking for, for this, but it came to you. It found you in some way. You're stressing about this and God already took care of it. Even though it's still going on, understand that the battle has already been won, okay? Victory is literally already yours. God is trying to understand why the fuck are you still worried about something that he already took care of. Do you feel me or do you feel me? Like, they really getting annoyed at this point. They're trying to understand what the fuck you worried about. What you worried about? We just told you that we got you. What you worried about? <laughs> Yo, your guides are funny, Aries. All right, let's move on to my Leos. They said, what you worried about? Quit all that hollering. Quit all that hollering. We got you. Magician. Big boss energy. Master manifester energy. You are an ascended one, okay? Somebody here is going to be trying to ask for your forgiveness, trying to repent because they know that what they did was unjust. It was unfair. They know they shouldn't have did this shit. Somebody here has went against an empress, they made a big mistake here, but that's a personal problem, okay? God is going to deal with them the way God sees fit. You just keep minding your business and focusing on yourself. All right. Message her. Damn, spirit. <laughs> right? Tell them I heard it. Shit, I got it. All right. All right. All right. I'm good. <laughs> All right. Leo. What's going on, Leo? Big Leo energy. Big boss. Shout out to all my strong and beautiful Leos out there, my Leo women and my Leo men. What's going on with your bad self, Leo? I hope you guys enjoy the month of May. This is for my Leos out there, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, Western, and Vedic Astrological Placements. Leo, what's going on for the month of May? I don't know. We shall see, Leo. Let's see what it is, what it is, what it do. Okay, Leo? Leo, you so fine. You so sexy. <laughs> okay, Leo, let's see what's going on. Y'all so damn fine. Somebody here smell real good, too. Leo, you smell really nice. Whatever you put on, your lotions, your fragrance, whatever you be putting on, it smells nice. We have don't focus on 
monetary issues focus on spirit yes yeah, so keep your faith strong during this time talk to your guides talk to god okay make sure that you are communicating with spirit communicate with your ancestors Com communicate with your spirit guides communicate with the angels keep that line of communication open go into hermit mode okay so some of y'all are spending some time alone okay you could be in isolation right now god is working on you that's what god does god isolates you so that he can work on you so that you can hear only his voice so that he can get through to you and give you the messages give you the guidance give you the clarity that you need god puts us alone so that he can talk to us leo i feel like that's what's happening right now because somebody was trying some shit with you leo that they shouldn't have been trying some of y'all could be dealing with an Aries, a Taurus, a Scorpio, or a Leo, another Leo like you. I'm getting that somebody in a situation was abusing their power in some fucking way, okay? Some of y'all could have been dealing with a Virgo as well, okay, Leo? But here you are, the sun card. Happiness is yours. Happiness is your birthright. Peace is your birthright. I'm getting that you about to walk into full bliss. I'm getting that you about to walk into paradise, okay? Joy is here. Joy is near. You might as well just be happy right now because understand that you're going to be smiling from ear to ear. You're going to be smiling so damn hard, your face going to hurt. We got the card of the sun, Leo, okay? Some of you may be seeing 919, okay? I'm getting here that some of you are seeing 919. You may be seeing a lot of nines. Yeah, I'm getting 999 here. I'm getting 919, okay? I'm also getting 419, okay? Somebody here may be born on 419th. What's that? April 19th. Somebody here could be born on April 19th. Somebody here may be born on September 19th. Somebody here may be born on April 1st. Just be alone for now. Develop your craft. What I just said, God isolating you. God sitting you alone. You sitting to yourself. You being by yourself. A lot of you, that's what you want to do anyway. You just want to spend some time alone. You want to be by yourself. Okay? You want to take some time out for yourself. And the reason why you're getting that urge to is because there's a lot of healing being done. There's a lot of downloads that you need to have. Okay, so some of you are getting some spiritual downloads. Okay, you're getting some sort of visions here. Some of you are having very prophetic, very um, powerful dreams. Okay, pay attention to all of that. God is trying to convey messages to you. Okay. It's okay to be alone. It's okay, baby. It's okay to be alone. Some of you may be having a hard time accepting something that you found out recently as well as what I'm getting. Okay, yeah, the moon card. You may be wanting to keep something hidden. You may be wanting to keep a secret. Somebody here could be born on September 18th. I'm getting a lot of different numbers. I'm also getting here Aries that some of you may be starting to study numbers. Some of you could be getting into numerology. If not, that passion is going to come. It's going to ignite. Some of you may be having... um some kind of desire to study numbers you could be looking up different number synchronicities and what they mean but i'm really getting here that you're trying to discover you know hidden knowledge here you're trying to discover like meanings behind numbers okay every number has different meanings okay and the synchronicities that they form also have different meanings, okay? It could go, it could become very complex, just like astrology. Some of you may be taking on astrology. You may be taking on numerology. This may be something that you're currently studying or something that you will be studying in this lifetime. Hold on, sorry. Mm. Give me a message for Aries. Give me some more messages for Aries. Some of you could be connected to a Pisces. Okay. I'm getting a Pisces, a Libra, a Taurus. Um, yeah. Pisces, Libra, Taurus, Aries, Virgo. Another Leo like yourself. A Scorpio. Yep. Scorpio, as I said it. Okay. I felt Scorpio energy. I'm like in a fucking Scorpio. Okay. 
somebody here knows that you're going to be happy once you go through a transformation. And it's like whoever this is, they want you to stay stuck in an old paradigm. Somebody here wants you to stay stuck in your old ways. I've, I'm getting this energy here that you're outgrowing a situation. You're outgrowing certain people. You're, you're just outgrowing shit. Like certain things that used to bring you joy, you may do it now. And you're like, man, this shit whack. Like I don't really feel happy the way I once did. It's like... You know, it's like going to, let's say you go out and you go, you have this certain lounge that you like. You always like going to this lounge. You love the music. You love the food. You love the drinks. You love the people that be there. Like, you love to run into certain people. Like, this is your spot. You know, you will always have a good time going here, right? And it's like now it's just like it's not the same. The food is still the same. The people still the same. The music still the same. Everything's still the same. So it's like, why am I not having fun? It's because you're growing, you're changing, you're not staying the same. And when you change within, your surroundings change, your environment change. Only way that you can get things to change on the outside of you is if you start doing the inner work, is if you start changing within. Aries, you're changing within, and this is why it's time for the outside world to change as well. Okay, the universe responds to our frequency. Everything is created twice, first in the mind and then in reality. So if you create in a reality for yourself where, you know, you... Things have to stay the same or things that I like, I, I'm going to always like, then you're only doing a disservice to yourself. You keeping your own self stagnant. Nobody is an enemy. It's you against you at this point. So train your mind to be stronger. Watch your thoughts, okay? You doing a lot of work on yourself and you trying to carry that out into the physical world. How is how is the physical world going to be able to reward you with all the hard work that you're doing inside if you feel like you're not truly worthy of that change? If you're not really surrendering control. Somebody here needs to surrender control. We have the emperor in the reverse. This talks about someone that feels like they're losing control. Somebody here that's trying to control the situation. Somebody here that's being stubborn. Somebody here that's not wanting to surrender. The only way that you're able to tap into this full sun energy is by surrendering. And I know that I'm calling y'all Aries. And it's because you could have Aries in your chart or you could be connected to an Aries. But Leo, I know that I'm talking to you. I'm sorry if I called y'all Aries a few times just now. But Aries may need to watch this message too as Aries energy is very strong here too. We got Aries. We got Libra. We got Taurus. We got Scorpio. We got Virgo. And we got Pisces. Somebody here don't want you to succeed. We got Pisces energy right here again, and we got temperance in the reverse. We got Sagittarius energy here, and we got my income is constantly increasing. We got happy home. Leo, what the fuck? This is really good, Leo. Like, I mean, like, really, really good. Like, really good. Like, really, 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 really good. <laughs> like, for real, it's really good, Leo. Like, you about to get, like, a, a pay raise, okay? Some of you may get another job. You may get a new job. Congratulations. You may find another uh, way to make money, okay, an extra source of income. But it says my income is constantly increasing. I feel like somebody pissed off. Somebody here mad as hell, okay? Somebody here that's stuck in their old ways. Somebody here that's not changing. Yeah, somebody here that you outgrowing. That's why we got the card of unparalleled and acceptance in the reverse. Somebody here don't want to accept the fact that you comfortable with your shadow self. Somebody here don't want to accept the fact that you've already went through your dark night of the soul. Somebody here don't want to accept the fact that you outgrowing them. Somebody here don't want to accept that. They don't want to accept the fact that you've actually healed. Like somebody here is under the impression that you still doing the, old, the same old bullshit that you used to do back in the day. And it's like, no, I've outgrown that. I don't do that anymore. Like I don't, I'm good. Oh, you too, you too good. You can't drink this with us. You can't smoke this with us. You can't hang out at these places with us no more. No, it's not that I'm not, I'm too good. I just, I don't want to do it anymore. I'd rather be alone. You know, some of you like shit. I'd rather, you know, study astrology. I'd rather, I'd rather study my numbers and shit. And I'm not trying to be funny, but that's really the energy here, Leo, where a lot of you are like, you finding pleasure in different things. It's like, I don't want to go to the club no more. I'd rather go to an art exhibit. I'd rather go to a museum. I'd rather go somewhere where I have to take notes. I'd rather do something that's enriching my mind. I'd rather do something that's going to teach me something. I'm seeking knowledge every day. I'm trying to become a better version of myself each day. The club is not teaching me anything. And it's not to say that, you know, people that like to go to clubs are not learning anything. 
that's not what I'm saying. Don't take this as a, don't take everything so literal, y'all. But this is just saying like, I'm, I'm seeking different shit. I'm doing different shit. I'm changing. And so my ways are changing. Things that excite me, things that bring me joy are also changing. Okay. My hobbies are changing. My interests are changing. I want to go in a new direction. Stop trying to hold me back. We got new direction in the reverse. Leo, it's like somebody here wants to keep you stuck. They don't want you to go in a new direction here. Somebody here wants to stay stuck. Yeah, will of fortune in the reverse. Somebody here, you know, you got some kind of karmic soul ties, some kind of trauma bond with somebody, and they just want you to out, they want you to live that shit with them. It's like we in this together, like karmic soulmates for life type shit. Like, absolutely the fuck not. Like, peace. Leo, it's time to give this person the deuces, okay? Some of y'all, this could have even, like, been a very abusive connection as well. Who the fuck wants to stay in that? Like, that's what I'm getting from this. Like, who wants to stay in that? Who wants to keep getting talked to crazy? Who wants to keep having these fights and, you know, having shit break? Like, who wants to keep doing that? Leo, I'm getting here that you ready for something bigger. You manifesting something bigger, something greater, something better. You ready for this change. You ready for a spiritual partnership. Some of y'all are releasing a karmic partner and you going into a spiritual union with somebody. This is something that you're manifesting. Whether you realize this or not, you're manifesting this. But a lot of you may be scared when it comes. Don't be scared, Leo. Okay, you have the strength and courage. when it Because it, it's coming. Oh, it's coming. This person could be a Virgo, a Cancer, a Taurus, a Leo. Whoever this is, this shit is coming. And it's coming now. So I hope you're ready because this is what you manifested. Some of y'all manifested a spiritual union, a spiritual partnership with somebody. Sorry, y'all. Some of y'all manifested a spiritual union, a spiritual partnership with somebody. And it's like when it comes, some of y'all may get nervous. You may say, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. Maybe I should just be single. Oh, my God. Some of y'all, this person going to come in, they're going to rock your world, and you're going to be at your damn altar trying to figure out if this your person or not because you done been through so fucking much. You refuse to make a mistake and choose the wrong person and live out a karmic cycle again. God is telling you that you're not going to live out another karmic cycle. You've already learned the lessons that you needed to in love. You are now fully ready to tap into a spiritual partnership here. You are really ready to genuinely give and receive love. Some of y'all could have even been single for quite some time here. This was preparation. The weight wasn't punishment. It was preparation. You got happy home. You got money coming. You got a spiritual partnership that's about to form. You getting everything that you want. And be strong about it. Stand 10 toes down. This is something that you've been manifesting and praying for. And now that it's on its way, don't bitch up. You feel me? Don't bitch up. Don't get scared because everything that you want is finally here. You ain't going to believe this shit. You ain't going to believe how God about to show out. Okay, like God really about to show out for you, Leo, and you ain't going to believe this shit. Some of y'all going to be nervous, like, nah, it's too good to be true. Like, what's going to happen if I take that? What's going to happen if I if I, if I I get that house? What's going to happen if I get into this spiritual partnership? What's going to happen? What's, what's the catch? What's the catch 22? There is no catch. This is what you manifested. This is what's owed to you. This is what's due. It's time to celebrate. There's a lot of stability here. A lot of commitment. A lot of stability. Okay, this is a solid, firm foundation. Leo, this is beautiful energy. I just keep hearing, don't be scared. Don't get scared when this shit starts to happen, Leo. Because it's really about to happen. It's really about to pop. You really the shit. <laughs> you need to be very happy. Okay, it's time for you to be very, very happy. Okay, double Leo energy here with the strength and the sun card. It's time for you to be very, very happy. You getting what you prayed for. You getting what you wish. Don't be scared. Don't be scared when this shit starts to happen. You're going to be nervous. You're going to be like, oh, shit, it's too good to be true. Oh, my God, no. Why? You will be so damn scared. <laughs> but it's a good scare. This is victory. This is success. This is what dreams are made of, okay? I'm hearing I'm living out my wildest dreams. Leo, you're going to be feeling like you're living out your wildest dreams. I love that for you. Spirit, give me some more messages for my Leos out there. This is beautiful energy, Leo. Some of you may have Libra in your chart or you could be dealing with a Libra, okay? I'm getting a card of Libra. I feel like you're comfortable with your shadow self, okay? You don't give a damn what people got to say about you. 
the motherfuckers got some shit that they may not be so proud of as well. Somebody here may be trying to bring your past back up to make you feel some type of way, to make you feel unde undeserving of what's about to happen for you. Nah, when you comfortable with your shadow self, ain't shit that a motherfucker could do or say that's going to make you feel bad. It's going to be like, oh, Leo, remember that time you did A, B, C, and D? Or remember that time you did this or you said this? Remember that time? And it's going to be like, yeah, I remember that shit. Of course I remember that shit. I'm the one who did it. <laughs> but I'm not that person anymore. You feel me? Like, that's not the type of time I be on. Somebody here going to be shocked to see that you comfortable with your shadow self as well. Like, you comfortable with who you are. Yeah, because you're healing. We have the star card here, Aquarius energy. You're healing. You're not ashamed of anything. You're not ashamed of where you've came from. You're not ashamed of where you've come from, I should say. You're not ashamed of uh, past experiences that you've had or things that you could have did differently. You're not ashamed of your past. So tell the motherfuckers to try that with somebody else that's running around being a false person. When you being authentic, when you being unapolog unapologetically yourself... When you being true to yourself and you walking in your truth, you walking in your purpose, there's nothing that anybody can bring up from your past that's going to make you feel bad about anything. It's like, yeah, I did that shit. Okay. And yeah, I'm not proud of it. You know what? That's even more of a testimony. Thank you. Let me broadcast to the world what I did so that they can see that anything's possible if you heal. Okay. Thank you. 444 four, four on the clock as I say that 3444. Okay. Some of y'all could be seeing a lot of fours. That's your protection that you got. Because you got a lot of it. Understand that. But it's like, yeah. Like, fuck you mean? Like, I'm not ashamed. I'm getting a perfect sequence for you. Perfect alignment for you and your wishes coming true. I'm, I got two, three, four, five here. All synchronized here. Two, three, four, five. Things are just falling for you. Things are coming together for you, I should say. In the right way. It's like a domino effect. Two, three, four, five. Like everything happening for you the way that it's supposed to. It's a domino effect. A lot of success here. Okay. A lot of success here for you, Leo. Yeah, because you rising above the bullshit. And I'm I'm seeing here that you got many options when it comes to like everything that you want. This is an abundance. This is like, yeah, oh my God. <sighs> Fuck Leo. God damn it. This is some beautiful ass energy, Leo. You got the Hierophant here. You got the Lover's card, the Queen of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, the Judgment card. Literally, <laughs> Leo, I don't think you understand how powerful, how protected, how gifted, how cloaked you are, how blessed you about to be. Like, all you got to do is take a leap of faith. You look good, too. You look real good. Oh, my God. You look so good. Leo, some of you could be transforming your bodies right now. Some of you may be on a health journey, okay, getting your body right. I'm getting here that somebody here that could have even got, like, some kind of cosmetic surgery. I'm hearing something about someone's teeth, okay? Somebody here could be getting their teeth done or some, doing something to their teeth. I'm getting somebody here is changing their hair. Somebody here could have got some breast augmentations, okay? Listen, whatever it is that you're doing to your body or your face, anything that you got nip tucked, any cosmetic, whatever the fuck it is that you done did, you look the bomb, okay? You look good before, but you, you look great now too, okay? And I'm getting here, if this is something that you want to do, you'll be able to do it. So some of you, you've actually done this already. Others of you, maybe you're thinking about little shit that you may want to do. Spirit said you're going to look fine as fuck. You look fine regardless, but whatever your heart desires is going to work out. You're going to look absolutely beautiful. I'm getting here that you're not going to overdo it. I'm also getting this energy of somebody doing something to their lips. Okay, I'm picking up on somebody here wanting to do a little plump plump. Maybe get their lips plumped up a little bit. Listen, do whatever you want. Okay, somebody here is mad. Leo, you're going to be having people trying to come back from your past that you haven't heard from in ages. I'm talking about motherfuckers from high school. And I don't care how old you are. You got people from high school or college or whatever. People that you haven't spoke to or seen in years trying to come back towards you, Leo. Somebody that you sick of is trying to come towards you for love as well. It's like, what? Not only do you not want to be this person's friend, you damn sure don't want to be in a relationship with whoever this is either. So it's like the audacity of this person to even think that they had some sort of chance with you. 
I don't know who this is, but that's how you're looking at this person. It's like, yo, what? I haven't talked to you since such and such. And it wasn't by mistake. I chose not to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you. There's nothing that we have in common. There's nothing that you... It, nah, we ain't got no business speaking. Yeah, we got the we got the worlds in the reverse here. We got the eight of cups in the reverse. We got the ten of pentacles in the reverse. This person is all fucked up in the game. This person is going through hardships. This is somebody that's getting hit with a lot of karma here. Things in their life could be falling apart. And Leo, they see how independent you are, how happy you are, how blessed you are. You got the nine of pentacles and the nine the cups in the chariot they see that you moving forward you pushing through you very independent you self-sufficient you don't need a motherfucker for anything this is like truly truly like blessings on top of blessings on top of blessings on top of blessings like this is some beautiful bomb ass energy okay leo and it's like somebody here that's angry and jealous of your success jealous of your spiritual growth as well some of y'all are really gifted you really tapped in i told you that you was manifesting the hell out of your life you also man manifest in a spiritual union you manifest in a spiritual partner and that's why i said when this person comes into your life it's gonna feel like it's too good to be true but this is something that you manifested and you need to just embrace this new beginning because this is what's for you, baby. This is truly being gifted for you. This is a divine gift here. This is a gift from source. This is a gift from God. And this is what you've been wanting. So don't be scared. Be happy. Be excited. And, and take this. It's for you. Don't have any fear. These past people that's trying to come back into your life, they only trying to come back into your life to be nosy. People want to know who your spiritual partner is. They want to know about your union. They want to know about your man, your woman. They want to know about your divine masculine, your divine feminine. They want to know what you guys got going on, what y'all doing. They want to know about where y'all going on trips at, where y'all going, where y'all moving to. You know, are you pregnant? Is this person trying to get you pregnant? Like, these people got so many fucking questions, and it's not because they're happy for you. Or they want to come and celebrate you. It's just because they nosy. They nosy as hell. Some of these people even wish that you didn't have half of this shit. But they just nosy as fuck. Okay? So just be mindful of past people trying to come talk to you and kick it with you and see what you got going on. They just nosy. Yeah, we got a king of swords in a reverse, a queen of swords in a reverse, and a temperance reverse, and a sun reverse. For some of you, this could be another Leo. This could be a Sagittarius. Or this could be an air sign. Somebody here pissed off because you getting everything you want. And I'm telling you, these people are going to be trying to, like, come towards you and talk to you just to get the inside scoop on your life. That's all they want to do. They just want to get the inside scoop on your life. They just want to get the inside scoop on this new spiritual union that you got going on. They just want to get the in Motherfuckers just want to get the inside scoop. I'm getting for some of you, this could even be a mother figure that you, you know, and I know that's a trigger. And I'm sorry, y'all. I know that that's a trigger. I know that that's a sensitive topic. I know it is. But some of y'all even have a mother figure that's not happy for you, but they want to be all in your fucking business as well. And I know that's sensitive, and I'm and I'm sorry, y'all. But I am getting that message, too, so I'm going to give it. Listen. What you got going on, Leo? Who that? What's this? What's that? What's that? What you doing? None of your business. You feel me? Like, these people nosy as hell. They not coming with you in this new cycle, and they need to mind their damn business. <laughs> damn, Leo, tell them motherfuckers mind their business. <clears throat> All right. Sagittarius. What's going on, Saggy? Shout out to all my Saggies out there. Sagittarius, I hope that you enjoy the month of May. I hope April has been good to you, and I hope May is even better. I'm going to give you guys an overall energy check-in for the month of May. See what's going on with you guys for the month of May. Let's see what's up, Sag. Just give me a second. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, Western, and Vedic Astrological Placements. Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. What's up, Sag? Two more shuffles for my Sagittarius. Spare, what messages do you have for Sagittarius regarding their overall energy for the month of May? What's the overall energy surrounding Sagittarius for the month of May, please? Sagittarius. Give me a message for Sagittarius. Sagittarius, I'm getting a message about your body. Somebody is jealous about your body. 
Okay, I don't care if you think that you overweight or you too skinny or whatever, whatever, um, whatever flaws you feel like you have when it comes to your body or if you beating yourself up about your body or you feeling some type of way about your body, understand that somebody is jealous about your body, okay? Like, you may be thinking, damn, like, I need to start doing sit-ups or damn, like, I got back rolls or like, you know, I got a little bit of stretch marks that's starting to come in. Like, damn, this, damn, that. Like, some of y'all may be nitpicking and you could be very hard on yourself when it comes to your body image, right? I'm telling you, somebody here wished that they had your body. I promise you. Like, I'm. that's a download that I just got. There's a set and I'm, you could be a man or a woman. Take it as it resonates. But I'm getting this energy of a Sagittarius feminine who's a little, yeah, you need to accept your flaws, okay? Accept yourself for, for all that you are, like, take off all your clothes, look in the mirror, and hug yourself. I tell people to do that shit all the time. Like, accept who you are, okay? You got a little extra weight on you that you want to get off? Okay, that's fine. Do it for yourself. Make sure you're doing it for yourself and not because of what somebody else said or what, what somebody else is, you know, how somebody else made you feel, okay? Don't give them that kind of power. If it's something about you when it comes to your body that you want to work on, then work on it and do it for yourself. Don't do it because somebody else said something, okay? I know I just said that. I know I'm repeating myself, but spirit really want this message to stick, okay? Spirit really wants you to get this message through your head because I'm getting here that some of you is like, you may be having a hard time like accepting certain things about your body, but you could just be a perfectionist. Some of you may have strong Taurus, Virgo, or Libra placements, okay? But you, you know, you just want to look good. You want to feel good. And I get it. Sagittarius, trust me, I get it. As a Libra, I get it, okay? You want to look good. And I feel like you do look good. I feel like whatever it is that you nitpicking or whatever you telling yourself, it's all in your mind. You look good, okay? Like, there could be somebody, let's just say you thick, right, Sag? You on the thick side. Like, you thick. You got booty. You got hips. You got this. You got that. Somebody that may not really have a lot of, like, booty or hips or breasts, right? They look at you and they like, damn, you know, I wish I had a little bit more. But that's the same thing that you beating yourself up about. Like, oh, I wish my breasts look like this. Or I wish my ass look like this. I wish my... Somebody here wish that they shit look like yo shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yo. I, and I know that's not a reason to like... I know that's not... I know it's easier said than done. Like, if you have some kind of, you know, self-esteem issues or not even, not even necessary self-esteem. Maybe you just, you know, you want something to look a different way, right? We all do. We all do. All of us. We all do. It's, it's something that we want to change. That's just the way humans are. That's how we are. But I'm just getting here that you need to be nicer to yourself, okay? Be more, be nicer to yourself. Speak to yourself better. Talk about yourself better, okay, baby? Like, for real. Like, for real. And I know it's something that's a sensitive topic. And I know that this may trigger some of you that hear this. But just be nicer to yourself. And even when you, like, don't make harsh jokes about yourself. Because the universe and your mind doesn't know the difference. And that's something that I had to learn, too. You know how sometimes you say something about yourself, but you saying it in a playful way? Stop that shit. Like, don't stop calling yourself fat or stop calling yourself scrawny or bony or whatever it is that you do and you laugh about it or you play. Stop doing that shit, okay? Stop doing that. Like, you look good. You beautiful just the way you are. And if it's something that you want to change, go ahead and change it. But just make sure that you're doing it for yourself and for not what other people want you to be or how you want other people to see you and shit like that because people gonna talk regardless of how you look when you lose the weight people gonna talk or when you put on the weight they gonna talk let the motherfuckers say whatever the fuck it is that they feel they need to say and keep it pushing whatever however they feel about you is how they feel about themselves people be projecting like a motherfucker you just make sure that you comfortable with how you look and if you want to nip tuck go ahead and nip tuck if you want to go on a diet, go ahead and go on a diet. If you want to work out, go ahead and work out. If you gain some weight, but you okay with how you look, then that's fine too. All right? Like, I'm really, I really want to press this issue because I feel like this is something that's bothering y'all right now. Somebody here could have said something about your body and it, it could have like really like made you like look at yourself differently. It's nothing wrong with the way you look. That person is not comfortable in their body. Sagittarius, if somebody says something about your body, trust me when I tell you that that person is not comfortable in their body. 
That's the only reason why they said something about your body in the first place is because they insecure about their body. It could be a Gemini for some of y'all talking shit about the way you look. Let them talk. Could have been a Gemini or a Capricorn or a Pisces. These people are not comfortable with themselves. Let them talk. Could also be a Cancer. They mad because you happy. They mad because you happy. You continuing to be happy. You're going to be happy. Somebody here want to cause a tower moment to your Ten of Cups. Somebody here is also mad because you happy by being single. So I feel like somebody here could be talking about your body. I also feel like somebody here could be talking about the fact that you um you happy with being alone. These are people that's codependent. These are people that need um somebody. You know, you ever met somebody, it's like their life is over if they're not in a relationship. Like, you know, it's like people that are like in the middle of a divorce, but they go, they go and get a reading, but they asking about new love. It's like my nigga, like I didn't even, you didn't even get divorced yet. Like you didn't even finalize your divorce yet. And you don't even know if you really even want to divorce this person yet. But you asking me about a new love, you know, like, it's like one of those things. Like, yo, you're not even comfortable with being by yourself. You don't even know how to be by yourself. Like, yo, spend some time with yourself. You ain't even fully leave one connection, but you thinking about building something with somebody else. Relax yourself. Hell, that's that codependent shit. People don't know how to be alone. I'm getting that you know how to be alone, Sag. Some of y'all been single for quite some time and you pretty fucking happy. You pretty fulfilled by yourself. You're cool. Maybe you had to release codependency. Maybe you could have been codependent at one point. We all go through that lesson of codependency. All of us. I have too. Okay? We not ashamed. Period. But you not in that position anymore. You good with or without a partner. And whether you desiring a partner or not, it doesn't matter. You're still good with or without them. I'm getting that you're comfortable. You could have a lot of plants in your home. You could have artwork posted on your um, wall. Or some of you could be buying artwork, wanting to change up your home a little bit, wanting to post things on your wall. Okay, I'm getting here that you sprucing the place up. Okay, you making it feel more like home. Some of you could even be buying a comfortable chair. I'm getting here that some of you could be buying a recliner. Okay, you could be buying a chair that reclines. Okay, keeps you relaxed. I'm getting this energy of a fireplace as well. Like you're very cozy in your home. You recline your chair, you sit back, you meditate, or you put on some nice music, or you watch a movie, a documentary. You just be chilling. I'm getting here that somebody likes popcorn as well, okay? So you may be popping some popcorn. You're sitting in your comfy chair. You got the lights dim. You're chilling. And people don't understand how you so comfortable with doing all of this shit by yourself. You should be miserable at this point because you don't have a partner in the house with you. How dare you be happy? How dare you be comfortable in your home? How dare you be watching movies by yourself and laughing like a motherfucker? You supposed to be miserable because you ain't got nobody to bump and grind with. You supposed to be miserable because ain't nobody in the house with you or paying your bills for you. You supposed to be miserable because of that. And I'm getting here that it's the complete opposite. You enjoy your own peace. You actually making sure that you enjoy it as much as you can because some of you know that you ain't going to be single for, for much longer. It's like I know that somebody is about to come in any moment. So let me just enjoy the rest of this time that I have to myself because I know the shit about to change. And then I'm going to have to adapt and I'm going to have to be, get used to being with somebody all over again. <laughs> Sagittarius, you comfortable like a motherfucker You happier than a bitch, okay You happy as hell, you real comfortable by yourself I'm getting that your home is really beautiful as well, okay I like the way that you decorate your home Some of you got like a um, a bunch of like nice like um like coffee mugs Okay, so somebody here may like to buy Like you may drink a lot of coffee, matcha, tea, whatever You may be buying like coffee mugs and stuff like that but I'm getting here that you got a nice collection, okay? You got a nice little collection. Somebody here could be juicing, okay? You could be buying, like, a new juicer or, you know, you could be buying, like, a blender or something that I'm seeing here. Somebody here, you know, like, you got, like, a lot of, like, you got, like, a lot of different things. I'm getting here, like, your kitchen, stuff about kitchen. So you may like to just buy home shit, okay? That's what makes you excited. Going shopping for your home, buying new, uh, you know, silverware and forks and, you know, just stuff like that. Like, you like to buy stuff for your home, nice stuff. I'm getting here that some of you even went and splurged on, like, a, a, um, a automatic, like, soap dispenser, okay? What is, I got um, a can from there, a garbage can from there. What is it called again? 
I can't think of it. But they have like um stainless steel um garbage cans and soap dispensers and things for your bathroom and kitchen. I can't think of the name right now, but I got a um I got a garbage can from them. Some of you could be buying a soap dispenser from that company or something. I can't think of the name right now. I think it's called Smart Something or Sim Simple Human. That's the name of it, Simple Human. Some of you may be buying stuff from Simple Human. Okay. But I'm getting here that your home is beautiful. It looks beautiful. You decorate it really nicely. You cozy. You happy. You chilling. And you comfortable with your shadow side too. I just told, um, I think I just told Leo that. I'm getting the same energy for you too, Sad. You comfortable with your shadow self. You already went through a dark night of the soul. You already had some kind of rebirth here. And you comfortable. Can't nobody tell you nothing about yourself. Can't nobody tell you anything about yourself that you don't already know. I'm getting here that you have fully mastered yourself. You have fully mastered yourself. You comfortable. You safe. You know your power. You know that you are strong. Some of you are going into union. Could be with a water sign or a Leo or a Gemini. You're going into a spirit union with someone. You have a soulmate here that's coming in. You have a soulmate here that's coming in that's in love with you. And somebody else missed out on you. Somebody here trying to get you back. They trying to repent for something that they did. They feel like they ruined this connection with you. You got a lot of Leo in your, in your reading, okay, Sagittarius? You got strong Leo. You got Cancer. You got Pisces. You got Capricorn. You got Gemini energy here, okay? Somebody here didn't want to see the truth of who you are. They didn't want you to discover who you truly was. I, I feel like you're an empress, and somebody here didn't want you to know that you was an empress. You're a fucking empress, period. Some of you could have strong Libra placements or Taurus, but you're an empress, Sagittarius. You're an empress, okay? I'm getting strong Taurus, Leo, and Aquarius energy here. Sagittarius here, we have you in the reverse. Yo, Sagittarius, somebody here didn't want you to know who you was. Somebody here wanted you to be stuck in poverty. We have money opportunity in the reverse. We have the Ace of Cups in the reverse. We have Leo and Sag in the reverse. We have stability in the reverse. We have the judgment card here in the upright. Understand that people will, so whoever is trying to do this shit will get dealt with. I'm seeing here that somebody here wants you to repeat cycles here, but justice is working in your favor. We got you right here, Sagittarius, with the temperance in the reverse, and we got the world card here in the reverse. Somebody here wants you to repeat karmic cycles, karmic lessons. They want you to keep going back and forth with past people. Literally, if you've been going back and forth with a lover and that shit has not worked out yet, like y'all just can't seem to get shit right, you need to leave that person right here right now. Because I'm telling you, that's the person that's keeping you stuck in this old way of thinking. Okay, you need to get rid of that person right here, right now. And if you got somebody from your past that you gave multiple chances to, I'm talking about you really gave this person multiple chances and they fucked up every single time. But now they're coming back as a changed person. You still need to be mindful of this energy. It is the retrograde right now. Sagittarius, this is a warning for you. It's not good to, it's not going to be in your best interest to reconcile with anybody from your past while this retrograde is happening. And I'm also getting here that it's going to cause major imbalances for you. We got the Sagittarius card in the reverse, and we got the Temperance card here, both in the reverse. This is double Saggy energy, okay, Sag, and it's both in the reverse here. Do not let somebody upset your balance because this is what somebody wants, wants to do. It's like somebody here knows how comfortable you are alone and how much you've been holding shit down on your own and like just how unbothered you are. Somebody sees how unbothered and how stable you are, and it's like whoever this is, they want to come in and, and fuck it up. It's like somebody don't want you to be happy or stable. It's weird, but they come in in the form of a lover. That's why it's weird. This is somebody that's going to be coming in and you're going to be thinking like maybe this person want to be in a relationship with you. They could be even offering you a relationship, telling you that they love you. But it's like whoever this is, they just want to come in to see how you do what you do and they want to take from you or they just want to set you back. This person wants you to lose focus. So like, let's just say you somebody that work from home, right? And let's say you really um, successful with whatever it is that you got going on. You work from home. This person wants to move in with you. They want to be a part of your home. They want to see how you live and how you do what you do for work. And then they want to get you so comfortable with them where you taking all this time off from your work. 
And it's like they feel like they could easily do this because you make your own schedule. So it's like if you work for yourself and you make your own schedule, then you ain't really got a punch in the clock. You know what I'm saying? This is all about like you being focused, you being determined. This is this is all about you. You make your own schedule. So it's like you got to be strong enough and you got to be determined. You, you got to be consistent. You got to be focused. You got to keep doing what you're doing. You can't let nobody come in and take you off your path, take you off your mission, make you lose your train of thought, make you lose your focus. If you know that you get up every morning at 5 a.m. and you got a whole morning routine that you do and then you jump into your work and you've been doing this shit for years now, you got some kind of routine. This is how you so blessed. This is how you so successful. Somebody sees that they want to come in and fuck up your whole routine. Now you in bed with this motherfucker to 2 p.m. You sleeping late with them. You doing all this extra shit. Now your money is funny. Now your your credit is funny. Like everything's funny right now. Everything's slowing down. Shit ain't really hot hitting. Shit ain't really hot and popping the way it used to be. It's because this person is coming in and they distracting you. They upsetting your balance. Your Sagittarius, be mindful of this person and their energy. I'm telling you, for some of you, you could actually be living in this cycle right now. Or this is a cycle that's trying to come back for you. This is a person that's trying to come back for you. Be careful with this shit. I'm telling you because you was on a straight and narrow and you was doing the right thing. Don't let somebody come in and fuck up what you got going on. I'm telling you. Don't let somebody come in and fuck up what you got going on. I feel like you be busting your ass. Whoever I'm picking up on, you be busting your fucking ass. You the type of motherfucker that work 80, 90 hours a week. Like I'm getting here that you be busting your ass. Justice. Strong Libra energy here. Some of you definitely dealing with Libras or you got Libra in your chart. But I'm really getting this energy that you be busting your fucking ass. And that's why the Ten of Pentacles is here. Like all your money is hard earned. You worked for it. Okay. Because you're a fucking high priestess. Some of you may even be readers. Oh shit. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You a reader, okay? And you go hard. You you do what you need to do. You get your messages out. You be up every day and you work hard and you consistent. And you're very reliable. And people look forward to hearing everything it is that you have to say. People love your messages. People love you. People are inspired by you. You helping many people. Trust me when I tell you. You're helping many people. Keep doing the work that you call to do. I don't give a fuck who this person is and how good they slinging it or whatever the fuck they think they got when they come into you. It's not going to distract you. And I know for a fact it's not going to distract you. I know it's not. I know it's not. But others of you, or this is for the same group of you that I'm speaking to that resonate with this. You do have somebody coming in that's worthy of you. So you got multiple people coming in, okay? You got people from your past that's coming in that's going to be a distraction that, that want to see how focused and how stable you truly are. And if they could knock you off your shit, okay? Somebody here want to knock you off your throne. Somebody here literally want to clip your wings, okay? You giving me earth angel vibes. Some of y'all out here are like real truth earth angels. Like you truly are a fucking earth angel. Somebody here sees your wings, they want to clip them. Like, I hate to give y'all that message, but that's what I'm seeing. And then I'm also seeing somebody here that you actually are going to, like, you are a gift to this person, and this person is a gift to you. You guys are lovers here. We got the lovers car here, the justice car, and the upright, and we got the water car here too. Some of you could be connected to Leos, Libras, or water signs, or Geminis. But whoever you connecting with, this person's going to take a leap of faith to come towards you and be with you. Could be an Aquarius as well. But whoever it is, this person loves you deeply. I feel like you love them too. So just be mindful of who's for you and who's not. Okay, I'm getting like false twin energy. Some of y'all got like a false twin flame or some shit. It's like a karmic partner trying to disguise themselves as your twin flame or your true love. The fuck out of here. And you showing up as a high priestess. So I'm confused as to why this person even think that you are not going to see that they not really your person. Like, get out of here. You're going to know right away that this person ain't for you. Yeah, we got the tower car here. That shit going to come to an end very quick. You got the tower car here twice. I feel like you putting an end to that shit. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. You ain't giving this person no offer. You ain't giving this person no offer. You ain't giving them no money. You ain't giving them no food. I'm getting here that this person needs you. You don't need them. This person is coming in trying to act like they're your person. No, the fuck they are not. 
Sagittarius, trust your intuition, okay? You have the gift of discernment. You are showing up as a high priestess. You know who's for you and who isn't, okay? This person could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or a Leo. Somebody that's that has water or Leo in their chart. This person really want to come in and, and like really want to like disrupt what you got going on. They want to cause instability for you. For, yeah, they want to cause instability for you. They want to mooch off of you, okay? This person is a fucking bottom feeder. This is the type of motherfucker that just want to see you. They want to see you win so that they could get something out of it. So, like, if you told this person that you got a new job or you told this person that you're getting more money or you told this person that you got some type of money coming in, like, make sure you're not letting this motherfucker know that you got money coming in or you got new opportunities coming. Because I promise you, this person going to act like they love you so fucking much. Like, this is the type of person that's going to, like... They going to do everything for you. I'm even getting here that if you sleep with this person, this is going to be some of the best sex of your life. Or this motherfucker just going to do anything and everything under the sun to make sure that you come in a million times back to back. Like this person really pulling out all the stops. And the only reason why they doing all this shit is because they want to mooch off of you. This is somebody that wants you to help them. They feel like you can help them. It's like, I'm telling you, Sag, they need you. You don't need them. This person may even be using reverse psychology on you to make you feel like you you need them. I'm telling you, you the stable one in this situation. And this person, yeah, it's no evil give and take. This person is breadcrumbing like a motherfucker. They just want to come with all their burdens and all their shit and, and just mooch off of you and feed off of you. This person wants to feed off of your energy. It's like they, they know that you have this abundance about you. They know that you just have this way of like just making shit work for yourself. They know that abundance literally follows you, Sag. And it's like, they are going through a difficult time financially, so they trying to take a leap of faith and pull up to where you at so that they could get some. I'm telling you, this person want to get some of your nookie. They want to get some of your money. They want to they wanna eat whatever's in your fridge, okay? They miss your food. Some of you could have cooked for this person before in the past. They want your ass to cook for them again, okay? This person want home-cooked meals. They want money. They want sex. They want all of that. And what are they coming with? absolutely fucking nothing this person ain't got shit to bring they ain't got shit to bring to the table they ain't got shit to offer and i feel like they being exposed and i feel like you know this this message just may be confirmation for you but with the moon reverse you're definitely going to see this person for who they truly are this person is upset because they sad they just sad this person is sad they could have married someone or made a bad choice in love. They got connected with an empress in a reverse. And now they feel betrayed by that person. They feel like that person did them wrong. They could have even been trying to put you in a third party. with. Uh, they could have even been trying to put you in a third party with this person. But now they know that things are not working out with this person. So now this person has put on their thinking cap. This person is trying to weigh out their options and love to see who's the best fit, who's the person that's really going to help them and provide for them, who's really going to bring them happiness and emotional fulfillment. And they looking at you. They seeing you as the high priestess. They seeing you as a divine being. They seeing you for who you truly are. You're an earth angel, whoever I'm speaking to. And this person wants to come in with an offer. They want to come in to give you an offer. They want to come in to show you love. And this person is in the five of pentacles. This person is in lack. They in poverty. They don't really know what the fuck they doing. They don't know what's happening next. But they know what they do know is that everything that's about to happen for you is nothing but abundance. It's nothing but greatness. It's nothing but prosperity. It's blessings on blessings. That's what they do know. They ain't sure about shit that's going on in their life. But they know for sure that you the fucking winning ticket. And if they could just shank up with you. If they could shack up with you and lay up with you. Then they got it made. Sagittarius, be careful. I'm telling y'all. But you got somebody else that's going to come in and that's going to be the right person. So you got a choice and lovers here. Do you want to repeat a karmic cycle? Hell to the nah, nah, nah. Okay. So patience is a virtue. Good things come to those that wait. Make sure that the spiritual partnership that you go into is a real one. Because I'm getting here that you got a karmic partner that's posing as a... um. As a twin flame, as a true love soulmate, and they're not. They're not. That's why spiritual partnership is in the reverse. I also feel like spiritual partnership came out in the reverse because some people, um, it's like they don't want, it's like this person wants to pretend like they're your twin or they're your true love, right? They're your divine counterpart, right? But they know they're not, but they want you to think that they are, right? You got one scenario like that. 
Then you got another scenario here where your actual partner is coming in, but people don't want you to be together. So people want to either confuse this person or confuse you or confuse both of you so that you don't see the truth about the situation and you don't see the truth about one another. That's two. Three, I'm getting here that people just want you to like, because you are on this like... Because you vibrating so high and you so comfortable with being alone, they want you to be dismissive to all love partners, all love interests that come towards you so that you'll just be alone. It's like they know that you got something good coming towards you. They know that you got a good union. Yeah, 818 on the clock as I say that. They know that you got something good coming. These people know that you got a divine counterpart that's on the way. <clears throat> and so because you comfortable in this single energy like i had said earlier like you so comfortable with just rocking by yourself they want you to be so guarded and so standoffish and so closed off to love that you miss a great opportunity with somebody that's truly for you so just pay attention to all of that all right but with you showing up as the high priestess and somebody that's very intuitive i feel like you know right away who's who what's what okay especially if you gave somebody multiple chances and that person put you through a lot you know that that ain't you know that that ain't your person you know it's not like i don't even know why they trying to show up like i don't know people be it's like just imagine the person that did you the worst coming back and thinking that you and this great energy and you vibrate in this high and they think that you can't see them for who they truly are you want to take them back like trigger warning let's say you was in an abusive relationship and this person was really whooping your ass this is the same person that sees all the work and all the healing that you've done but they think that they can come back and offer you something and you're gonna be like okay yeah i did all this self-work just to still be making dummy decisions fuck out of here absolutely not sagittarius tell that person that they got you fucked up all right <laughs> all right fire signs i love y'all happy may peace